Peace, y'all. I am ICC, and I am back with 10 more tips and tricks for the Titan II. In this video, I will be giving you some tips on how to get all you can get out of your Titan II. It has many functions and abilities. Some of the functions may not be as popular as others, so I'm here to shine the light on some stuff that people may not think about. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Number 10, flight sticks and steering wheels. Yes, many people already know about these functions, but there is a cool little way that you could use this. For example, while using a flight stick and a regular controller on the Titan II, both controllers will act as a single player. So in a game such as Battlefront or Battlefield, you can use a controller while running around and shooting, but then pick up your flight stick really quick as soon as you hop in a jet or a plane. Another example, while using a steering wheel and a controller on the Titan II, try playing a game like GTA. Imagine playing Grand Theft Auto with the controller, but as soon as you obtain a car, set the controller down and use the steering wheel. Crossplay on the same console with different styles of controllers for different experiences. All of this will work right out of the box, not even a firmware update is needed. Number 9. Mouse and Keyboard It's no secret that the Titan II supports mouse and keyboard, but how about using a mouse and keyboard along with a flight stick? A lot like the number 10 slot, you can do it here with the mouse and keyboard, but you need an OTG adapter. If you use an OTG adapter, you will be able to use a mouse and keyboard while running around and then a flight stick if you obtain a jet or a tank or whatever you want. This makes for a very PC feel. If you don't like consoles, then there you go. Number 8. Input Translator plus Script if you're using either an input translator or a script and you still wanted to add on, say for example you're using an input translator but you wanted to add script functions to it, you can. You can load an input translator and a script onto the same memory slot. Both will be on. You can have your cake and eat it too. Number 7. XIM4 The Titan II supports XIM4. You don't need a Titan II to use an XIM4, but if you do use them together, the Titan II will add many functions that you can use in conjunction with the XIM. For example, you can add macros, scripts, and all sorts of different things. Imagine a mouse and keyboard with macros running on your console. That's exactly what you have right here. Number 6. USB Adapters you can buy pretty much any USB adapter on the market and expect it to work. I picked up a PS1 and PS2 to USB adapter which works perfectly with everything I have thrown at it. I also have picked up an NES to USB adapter as well as an SNES to USB adapter. And all of these work. At most, you will need to run an input translator to remap the buttons. There are many other USB adapters on the market, such as Sega Saturn to USB or Nintendo 64 to USB. I haven't tested those last two adapters, but I am fairly confident that they will work. Number 5. USB Controller Support Every single USB controller that I have tested has worked. I am not saying everyone in the world works, but it seems the percentage of ones that works is rather high. I have already tested almost all of Retrobit and 8-bit DOS controllers from the RB864 to the SN30 Pro and many, many more. Number 4. Bluetooth USB Controllers This one sounds like an oxymoron, but hear me out real quick. You can plug your USB controller into the Titan 2 and then connect the Titan 2 to whatever supported console that you want via Bluetooth. For example, if you are playing on a tablet and all you have is a USB controller, use the Titan 2 to turn the signal into Bluetooth. You will need to use the AC adapter for this step because usually the Titan would draw power from the console, but now you can actually have a USB controller via Bluetooth. Number 3. Titan 1 plus Titan 2 If there is something that the Titan 1 does that the Titan 2 does not, you can always plug the Titan 1 into the Titan 2. 
I think this one will sooner or later become outdated, as I think the Titan 2 will end up having all of the Titan 1 functions. But if there happens to be something that you like on the Titan 1, you can plug it into the Titan 2 and enjoy whatever function. Number 2. Safe Mode and P Mode The Titan 2 has a few different modes. If you run into any issues, maybe a firmware issue or a script that is freezing your device, you have a few solutions. The first would be safe mode. Hold the down button and turn the Titan 2 on. This will launch safe mode and it will not recall any loaded scripts and it will force it to full speed. If you hold up and down for 3 seconds, you will launch P mode. This is program mode and it will accept any firmware regardless if it's old or not. Tap up and down at the same time to get out of P mode. Number 1. Bluetooth connection to avoid the 10 minute timer. With the Bluetooth module now released, it opens up many options. One of them being, you can now get rid of the 10 minute timer without any cables. If you want to use an Xbox One controller on the PS4 and you keep getting disconnected every 10 minutes, sync a PS4 controller to the Titan 2 Bluetooth module and your 10 minute timer will disappear for good. This only works for the PS4, the Xbox One uses a different communication method so it does not authenticate over Bluetooth. Maybe I will make a full video on exactly how to complete this setup, just let me know if you guys want that tutorial or not. So there you have it, 10 more tips and tricks. I am ICC, thanks for watching y'all, peace.